Well, today, Governor Andrew Cuomo said at the current rate, New York State will go through its supply of ventilators in just six days. That's right, six days. Right now, hospitals across the country are working to get their hands on those life-saving machines. Channel 2's Michael Wooten talked exclusively with the man who heads up Catholic Health, and he offered a sobering reality check as the peak of this pandemic inches closer. A week ago at St. Joseph's campus, workers at the region's first COVID-only hospital were moving in equipment. Now they're moving in patients. Catholic Health CEO Mark Sullivan told me several dozen coronavirus positive Western New Yorkers are already getting treated there, a number that will rise. Many have severe symptoms, making this delivery critical. Our team was in tears. A truck backed into St. Joseph campus and it was the state and their army fatigues and they deliver ventilators to the treatment center. Essential equipment that's in short supply. As we approach that peak, do you worry that there comes a point where there aren't enough ventilators, there aren't enough ICU beds, there aren't enough health care workers to deal with the number of patients? Yes. Uh, I, I, I never use the word worry. I use the word concerned. Because uh, worry means I'm not going to do anything about it. Concern means we're going to do something about it. And we're just working closely with the governor. He, he has said this, and I, I agree with him. There, there will not be enough ventilators for everyone. There will not be enough ICU beds for everyone. Like other hospital systems, Catholic Health is now splitting ventilators so one machine can help two patients. Sullivan also rented anesthesia machines from closed down surgery providers that can be converted into ventilators. Even with that, this naturally optimistic CEO wants to be realistic with Western New York. I don't want the community to ever view a healthcare worker as a person that decided if their loved one could live or die. They want everyone to live. The decision has to be made with the family um, in advance with this disease. It's very different than any other disease. So when the times get tough in Western New York, uh, we, we band together and circle the wagons. I think the community needs to do that, but they need to realize the reality of this as well, that, um, that it, it, it's gonna be here but um, to really support the caregivers because that decision should not rest on them. They will do everything they can to save every loved one in Western New York. We heard from a Catholic health nurse who said the following. I'm scared, I'm very scared, but I have a lot of supportive family members, coworkers, and I stayed because I know this is my home. This is my family that I'm gonna be working with, so I know they get, they're gonna give us a lot of support and a lot of love through each and every one, and I think it's going to definitely help the patients. Without these healthcare workers, there is no response to COVID. Exactly, and she's right. I want them to know how much I appreciate all they're doing. Um, they are my heroes. Um, they're our heroes. Um, they should be the community's heroes. Mr. Sullivan also shared with us some good news. Dozens of people who got coronavirus have fully recovered. In fact, as of six o'clock this morning, when you look at all of Catholic Health's hospitals, 42 people who were in either intensive care unit or in surge med beds have been discharged. That's 42 people who got really sick who are now at home. I'm Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.